um that's that's my my resolution for the streams is to kind of professionalize it a little bit more put more effort into it because i think that it deserves it um and then for the forum itself kind of i i I'll, I'll lump it in with this for a uh, I made a prediction that Liz Fong Jones will consent accident somebody, inshallah. That did not happen. Um, Liz Fong Jones did consent accident the internet. And uh, I don't think I've spoken about this because it happened so recently that I haven't had the opportunity to really discuss it. Um, but I decided that after, because what happened is, is that Cogent has been black holing a lot of our IPs on the Kiwi Farms. So even even with big companies that they have as direct streams, they're doing something that is, I believe, illegal. Um, so if an ISP wants to stop network traffic to uh, a destination IP that's on, that like is on their downstream, they have kind of two options for this. Option A is to drop the announcement for the entire subnet, which is, arguably something that they're they can do depending on their contracts it would be a civil tort um what cogent is doing is different because when you drop a, an announcement you drop all the ips on that which will be at minimum 256 it's like the entire network is being dropped cogent is black holing a single ip at a time from networks on big providers that have you know thousands of ips and the only way you can do that um and i'll try to hoping to explain this as concisely as I possibly can um, for people who don't understand networking. When you announce a network, the minimum size that a network can be is 256. Um, so when they want to black hole a single IP, they cannot just simply drop an announcement for a single IP. What they do is they announce it themselves, and then they, on their own network, black hole uh, route traffic for that IP to a black hole, which terminates the traffic without announcing that it's uh, unreachable because of them uh, and when you do that when you announce a network on your own that you don't have the rights to to announce that is illegal um, it's the closest thing I can explain is like in a, a pirate radio station or like a illegal ham radio network you're you're claiming to have the rights to announce and and control this network that you don't have any rights to. And when it comes to BGP, it is a web of trust. And when a big ISP like Cogent says that they have the rights to do something, they have enough clout in the, the industry to, to justify that. So arguably what they're doing where they're announcing networks and then black holing specific IP addresses so that they don't have to take action against the host themselves and like actually drop them from their network, which would hurt their bottom line, uh, they're instead just illegally announcing entire subnets and very specifically black holing single IP addresses that are used by the Kiwi farms. Um, so yeah, it's, it's weird. So what I did is I, I announced, um, I basically wrote up a mini guide. It's not done, but it is a thing and you can find it by going, if you go to the Kiwi farms HK right now, and if you type in, by the way, I try to keep it so that if you type in kiwifarms.net, it always redirects you to the site that's that's working right now. Uh, but if you go to HK and you go to the situation at the very bottom, and then you type in the lessons of war, or you go to this one, the lessons of war, um, I have written out a guide on how Liz Fong Jones deplatforms our website and how to find very specific technical information about websites that are on the internet and how to find their network op operation centers and how to complain to the service providers. Um, so if there's a website that you don't like, very specifically, if it's under cogent and if it's like controversial at all, I've written a very, uh, I've given you pointers on how to send a complaint to your, to that host asking that they be deplatformed. And you might wonder, uh, what's the point of that? Why why become an advocate of deplatforming? Well, I'm not an advocate of deplatforming. However, I have a theory that if every service provider in the world starts getting inundated with complaints from Karens of all kinds uh, about all sorts of content, they will eventually reconsider their stance that they should be the censors for the internet. Um, and people have already. Uh, applied this this logic this this these lessons of war uh, that liz fong jones of honeycomb.io has taught me uh we've learned all this information directly from liz fong jones who uh perfected this this craft 
um, and we, we thank him for that. It's very useful information. So uh, people have of their own free volition. I did not name any names. I did not say go after these websites, go after this website, go after this person. A bunch of people decided they would try this this out with what they considered one of the easiest targets they could think of, uh, which were all these DIY HRT websites, which are in, in effect either direct marketplaces or uh, how-to guides on buying illegal black market pharmaceuticals from uh, countries that have loose regulations or are uh, weak states to uh, control the distribution of such things. Uh, and indeed, as it turns out, domain registrars, DNS uh, providers, internet service providers, Cogent in particular is very helpful in removing all these DIY HRT directory websites from the internet. And they're going to try to apply this to Reddit, and they're going to try this to all sorts of websites, uh, using the information that Liz Fong Jones of Honeycomb has taught them how to do. Uh, they even have like a little list of all the things that have dropped all their different service providers. Uh, the one big one that is doing their best to, to protect these websites uh, is Cloudflare, ironically. However, we all know that Cloudflare um, is not is not immune to such things. So I'm curious if maybe, since since well, apparently these things, my, my streams get heard by people, uh, it is interesting how Cloudflare, who has made very, uh, has made many political decisions over the last few years in regards to what content they will and will not provide security services for, uh, has put up a strong line of defense and explicitly stated that they believe that the complaints about these HRT directory websites is abusive so they're not doing anything about it. So if you're somebody who is interested in um, or knows a, a podcaster or entertainer who's interested about these things, uh, Cloudflare is, is holding up a very strong line of defense for making sure that children can buy with cryptocurrency, a legal black market Brazilian bathtub HRT brewed from plastic bags, that there is photographic evidence that sometimes these uh, ampules are... Uh, contaminated with human hair when they arrive in their customer's mailbox in the United States. Pretty interesting stuff, actually. <clears throat> so, we'll see how that goes. Maybe one day they'll look back on the tidal wave of the complaints that they receive from educated, tech-savvy complainers and think, damn, it was a really bad idea to uh, decide to start meddling in the affairs of the downstreams. And you know what? I kind of blame Cloudflare for the sensitivity of tier one ISPs. Because back in the day, ISPs were used to getting complaints. It was a lot, I think a lot more people understood how the internet worked and the internet was a lot smaller. So they, you know, it was easy to find people to complain to. But when Cloudflare took over and so many small websites had to go under Cloudflare's umbrella to, you know, stay afloat because DDoS attacks are so common now, a lot of ISPs just stopped getting complaints and a significant amount of internet traffic was all going through Cloudflare. And Cloudflare was the one that, you know, decided that they were going to ignore most complaints. So when Cloudflare decided to start kicking people off and tier one ISPs again had to start dealing with complaints for like the first time in 10 years, they didn't know what to do. And all those people who were like old guard on, on Cogent and shit are gone now. So th that lull where Cloudflare like took over the entire internet and handled all internet com related complaints for like 10 years uh, has like reset people's tolerance to annoyance. And they need to be annoyed again to remind them what it's like to, to be an internet service provider. Uh, everybody can help, by the way. You only need an email address and a grievance and you can file your complaints too. Uh, so that's the deal with the Kiwi Farms. I think that in 2024, uh, I have a plan, as I mentioned. I'm waiting on two things, and when they happen, uh, it will be very funny, and I hope that it will last for a long time. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.